Well, hello there, guys. Today we are going to be fighting with the MPLA. This, these are uh, essentially um, Angolan uh, defense forces against a South African and UNITA attack. The actual c complications of this war, the specifics of this war, are so convoluted. I would love to do a video, a documentary series, uh, maybe a short one at some point on it, but we just can't do it right now. Suffice it to say that the USSR uh, and Cuba, specifically, uh, is assisting our MPLA troops in their defense of Angola. And UNITA, um, actually, originally also Marxists, um, are working with the South Africans to take control of the government and have a little bit of South African influence, of course, in these areas. So we're bringing everybody up to the front. I'm going to keep just one group over here looking up this way, sort of an ambush group. Uh, I don't know if that's how they're going to work, but really we just need those two tanks to come out uh, on top. If not, we're going to be in a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle to say the least. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. As always, uh, I will return when the action begins. But let's get a look at our boys heading to battle here. Looks like everybody is ready, just waiting for possible South African or UNITA troops to arrive. We just need to be prepared, guys. We need to be ready for any eventuality. But I think our men are battle-hardened, and hopefully they can withstand any assault. Contact has been made, boys, and we've actually spotted uh, an enemy APC here. Now, usually I have the actual victory points um, available here, but I wanted to make this battle as realistic as possible. We're trying something new. Uh, so in this particular battle, we are not going to be seeing the actual flags. We're just going to see our units. And sure enough, look at that. Two enemy APCs directly ahead of us. Come on, boys. Get them. Get them. We need our tanks to engage. I see an enemy tank as well. In fact, I think we should have just targeted that enemy tank. Forget the APCs. Then again, these uh, rattles do have um, the ability to fire some anti-tank rounds. Let's just keep firing them. My goodness. South Africans everywhere here. Let's hope that our boys have some RPGs. I believe they do. I'm actually going to take Vegeta here and uh, go ahead and hunt his head. See if we can start engaging some of the enemy infantry there. It's a magnificent ambush. Keep it up, boys. Come on. More Angola. Ooh. Just saw a round fly by there. And another hit on one of the enemy uh, APCs. We're actually, I gotta stop calling them APCs. These are rattles. They are definitely combat vehicles. They can also transport them. Also see one of the enemy tanks off in the distance. So we're getting some decent hits. share this battle with you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and join us on Twitch. Our Twitch community is growing, guys. Seems we've got the uh, auto speed on, so pretty much the game decides to speed up. Uh, but I kind of want to keep it on slow speed here so we can get every little bit of the battle. Oh, sir, I just want to get it back to regular speed, man. Unbelievable, guys. There are burning wrecks all over, but we're not finished yet. We are not finished yet. My, oh my goodness, please don't come to the cross. Oh, they're right there. Who is worried for a second? Uh, I think we should be targeting specifically the armor. Right there, for instance. There we go. Okay, it looks like we're already hitting them. Let's just look at the sound after the bill. Let's get them get the hell out of here. Definitely mostly South African troops. I don't know if they have the beach of support. But we're getting multiple hits on that tank. Finally, we got one that completely destroyed it. The rattle is going to be uh, evacuated there. Probably a good idea. So many rattles on the field right now, guys. We got into our duty and took them out. I really hope that we got some this here. Some RPGs. I would say that would be more likely. Let's make this a South African man who needs a graveyard. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I don't see any more tanks over there. We 
enemy is asking for a ceasefire. There's absolutely no way we're going to accept that ceasefire. Uh, we are converging with all men. This is almost like a Vietcom slash NBA style charge that I want to accomplish here. Uh, still plenty of infantry over here. And I want to try and attack and wipe out as many of them as possible. Definitely South African troops. Two tanks, my friend. Two tanks. We hit another one of their Centurions, if I'm not mistaken, over here. Completely torched it. Not surprised they want to cease fire. Just keep our distance and engage infantry. Be afraid, boys. Get up there and open fire. Use those AKs. Got plenty of rounds. Rarely do we see the South Africans retreat, but this is a catastrophe for them. Uh, we set up perfectly there on the field, and our two tanks absolutely deserve some medals. I don't know what kind of medals um, the uh, African tanks, uh, or excuse me, the African tanks are going to get the Angola tankers. But you can just see the destruction here. Uh, we can't wait to see the body count for actual South African soldiers, but this would definitely be in the newspaper. Not a good day um, at all for the enemy. And there we go. Uh, 23 killed on our side, 87 killed on the South African side, uh, 32 wounded. We didn't take any prisoners, incredibly, but we destroyed 16 vehicles, didn't lose a single one, five of those being tanks. That's an ambush to remember. Thank you again for watching, guys. Remember to su support this channel, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. And more importantly, follow us on Twitch. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't seem to like these war videos, uh, and typically they're not monetized, so... That's the best way to help me out, and I uh, hope to see you in future battles. Also, also, hit the bell and share on social media. Take care, my friends.